Catherine, I know you gotta go and warm up for your next match, but I wanna ask you one question. You and Tyson will be in all three events tomorrow if you win your semifinal match. What will it be like going for a triple crown together? Oh, that would be so amazing. Um, it's always the goal, you know, to get to three finals. Even better if we can get the triple crown. But um, I think we have to take it one match at a time and hopefully win tonight and then focus on tomorrow. Awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to play with this beast over here. Uh, she made she made it pretty late, right? Wednesday night. Yeah. And I'm just super happy to be with Paris and she played amazing today. And uh, we'll get it tomorrow. Great. All right, Catherine. All right, good Sorry. luck. <laughs> I'm gonna... Thank you. Go bark at Tyson. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, uh, so Paris, we're gonna have a lot of, some questions for you that we had for Catherine. Okay. But um, <laughs> so the wind has been a challenge this tournament, and yeah. it was picking up in game one and two. Yeah, did that cause any disrupt disruption in your game? Yeah, I mean, I think the wind always pays a factor with pickleball. It's like even if it's five, ten miles an hour, the ball's so light, it changes everything. You know, you really have to. It depends on side, depending on the side, you have to play a little bit different on each side. So I actually thought they were going to stop the match because it was so windy out there. So I was like, Catherine, like, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's just finish this match because sometimes players want to stop and we'd have to play tomorrow. So I'm just glad we got the job done tonight. Yeah, and kind of touching on that, um, you had a bigger advantage in points over Leia and Jesse in game two. Do you think that was from the side you were playing on? Yeah, I mean, sometimes we, especially me and Catherine, I feel like we preferred playing on the side we actually finished on. Um, the beginning of game one, there wasn't as much wind, so I felt like it played a little bit more straight up, and we just really took advantage of the wind, and we left balls that were going out, and we just played our game and focused kind of on our side of the court. And we don't see a lot of you in the, on the PPA tour. What made you decide to come out and play with Catherine? Uh, it's fun coming over and playing PPAs because it gets to show that APP players can come and play on the PPA tour and still do well. I mean, Tina Pisnik, she's in the final tomorrow and mixed as well. So, you know, non-signed player coming over and doing well. I think it's important for the sport, you know. I think it's good for new players coming up too. It shows them they can come in and they can do well. So I feel like for us, it just gives us motivation to come over and say, hey, we can beat your players. So I think it's fun. And Catherine called me on Sunday night and I was like, I'm coming. I was like, we're going to win this tournament. So here we are, we're in the final. So. Job's not done, really looking forward to playing with her tomorrow. And we're gonna have the Utah crowd against us tomorrow, but it's gonna be fun. So it's, it's gonna be great. Describe the training scene in Southwest Florida. Do you believe the factory got you to where you are today? Yeah, I mean, so I actually started playing in Southern California and I felt like there wasn't as many players out there. So that was a big reason why about a year ago I moved to South Florida. And I feel like just the players and the pros you have out there is just such a difference. I mean, Texas, Florida, Utah especially, we just have really good players, so it's good training. But I mean, we're hardly home anyway as it is. We're home a few days out of every month. So, But we, when we are home, we can take advantage of that good training and it, it makes a difference. Great. Thank you, Paris. Thank you.